It is said that, the deepest principle in human nature, is the craving to be appreciated. But this principle perhaps does not apply to people who work for passion, rather for compassion. These people are certainly exceptional in terms of typical human nature, and one such person is Grigory Perelman, a famous and controversial Russian mathematician, who surprisingly rejected $1 million by Clay Mathematics Institute, and the Fields Medal, for coming up with the proof of a century-long unsolved puzzle, called Poincaré Conjecture. About Grigory Perelman Perelman was born on 13 June, 1966 in Leningrad, Soviet Union, now St. Petersburg, Russia. In 1982 at the age of 16, he won a gold medal with a perfect score in the International Mathematical Olympiad. Perelman was a great learner with exceptional talent. From his childhood, his eyesight was not very good. Sometimes he couldn't even see the board properly. But with the impressive ability to remember things and to visualize information, he could understand the core and complex theories of mathematics intuitively. Research Interest Though Perelman did some landmark contributions in almost all the classic areas of pure mathematics, his main research revolved around geometric analysis, Riemannian geometry, and geometric topology. Gregory Perelman came into the limelight after proving the famous Poincaré conjecture, which was first proposed by a French mathematician, named Henri Poincaré in 1904. Rejecting the Fields Medal In 2006, Perelman was awarded the Fields Medal, a mathematician's equivalent to Nobel Prize. But surprisingly he did not accept the honor, and became the only mathematician to do so. On his rejection of this prestigious prize, he said, I don't want to be on display like an animal in a zoo. I'm not even that successful, that is why I don't want to have everybody looking at me. Saying No to Millennium Prize In addition to Fields Medal, Perelman was awarded the famous Millennium Prize in 2010. But with no surprise, Perelman again said a big no to this prize also. According to him, the prize should have been shared with Richard Hamilton, who developed the foundation of the theory of Ritchie flow, which Perelman used to prove the Poincaré conjecture. He believed that the Clay Institute made an unfair decision by not considering Hamilton along with him as a candidate for the prize. Also, Perelman justified that, I know how to control the universe. So tell me, why should I run for a million? Solitary Lifestyle Perelman now leads his life solely in his native town, St. Petersburg. In his personal life, he likes to remain isolated, and wants to live on his own. Undoubtedly, Perelman is a man of his word. He never drove into mathematics and those complex stuff just because of fame or money. He was fascinated by the true beauty of mathematics, which can only be caught by a few genuine passionate individuals.